Gone are the days when you just hopped on a plane, flew to Thailand, then found a nice budget place to stay close to the beach and had a relaxing holiday. Now it's a little more complicated, but if you want to go, here is what you need to know for the Book It Sandbox Scheme in Thailand. <laughs> It's another crazy day in the travel world and today we are explaining how to go to Thailand without a quarantine via the Phuket Sandbox Plan. Yes, that's right, you can currently fly into Phuket with no quarantine as long as you follow the following steps. Step one, you must be fully vaccinated and you must have been vaccinated a minimum of 14 days before your arrival date in Thailand. Step two, you must have a COE, that's a certificate of entry. Doesn't matter what nationality you are, whether you're Thai or non-Thai, everyone has to have one of those to go into Thailand now. Now the link to that I'll put in the description below for you. Step three, you must be arriving from an eligible country on the Thailand travel list. So there's various countries around the world which are not allowed, but everywhere else is on the Thailand travel list. So you must come from one of those. There's 67 countries approved at the moment. And that's changing all the time. Hmm. Step four. When you arrive, you must have a negative PCR test that was taken no longer than 72 hours before you departed. Step five, you must have a booking at an SHA plus accommodation. SASHA, oh, sorry, stands for the Safety and Health Administration. The plus means that the hotels that are approved by the SHA have got 70% of their staff or more have been vaccinated. Step six, you must prepay for three PCR tests. One will be taken on your arrival, the next one on day six, the final one on day 12, and they obviously must all come back negative. If they do come back positive, that leads to the next point, which is point two, where we seven, which means you must now have insurance to travel to Thailand, health insurance and travel insurance, which covers hospitalization by COVID with a minimum value of a hundred thousand coverage minimum coverage sorry of a hundred thousand US dollars so if you are but basically if you get a negative test they cut you straight off to the hospital where your isolation and, and everything changes obviously so don't get COVID step eight step eight <laughs> you must download the Thailand Plus app hold on let me get yep that's correct I'm just checking my notes here you must download the Thailand Plus app onto your mobile phone. Step nine, don't worry, we're nearly there. While you're going out and about in Phuket, you must wear a mask at all times. Oh. Now, that is a long list, but it does mean that on arrival, you do not have to stay in your room or in the hotel resort premises for any quarantine. You have the freedom of Phuket. Now, if you're staying less than 14 days, you also have to leave from Phuket Airport. So the advantage of going to Phuket is you don't touch Bangkok, you can get flights direct into Phuket. You have your time, less than 14 days you fly out of Phuket. As long as you've ticked all these boxes, you're okay. If you want to stay longer than 14 days in Thailand, after the 14 days, assuming you've had three negative tests, you are then allowed to travel all of the any other unrestricted areas of Thailand. They obviously areas are closing up and, and opening as they speak as we speak, so any area that's unrestricted travel, you are free to travel. So apart from all the extra hoops to jump through, you can now have a fairly normal holiday by going to Phuket. But bear in mind, bars, clubs and nightclubs are still closed and consumption of alcohol is only permitted in your own homes or rooms. 
And this is an experimental, op an experimental opening up of Thailand, which they hope will lead to more visitors and they can use as a template to open up more areas of the country. So how long will it be before we're able to travel freely again is anybody's guess. What are your thoughts on this type of scheme for getting tourists back and getting to be able to travel to these areas? Is it workable? Is it sensible? Will it work for you? Are you going to try it out? If so, let me know. And when travel does open up, where will you be travelling to? I'm not sure where I'm going to go. Hmm. Anyway, whether you're staying at home or going travelling, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.